I'm Jeff Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Super! Super. Get to know you here in the opening round, scheduled for 10. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Kid Dynamite's really walking a tightrope here. I mean, that's a foul, that's a headbutt right there. He could get dq Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Punches and bunches, working well. Kid Dynamite's left, landing well. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. He fires off the combination there and it lands. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. at him with a left hand. Not able to land the headshot. by Kid Dynamite. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Kid Dynamite's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Right hand crashes home. He never saw it coming. He should tie up. So the round comes to its conclusion. And it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tagged pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, remember you got hurt in the gym? And then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Nice work. Great technique. The combo lands. A thudding left by Kid Dynamite. Scored well up top. Crafty veteran boxing right there. And yet another big shot comes in. He goes up top and gets to him, hammering the head. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts people kick in. People, you got to start moving people, that head people, automatically people, right people. now. You don't want to stay in the middle. That hook was well off the mark. A good block. Goes up top with a right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Well off the mark by Kid Dynamite. What a bulldozing uppercut by Kid Dynamite. That's a well-scored left hand by Kid Dynamite.
Kid Dynamite's heading out there for this round, hoping that his legs are under him the way they need to be. He was dropped the last round. Well, he's going to find out. See, that's just the thing you just said, hoping. Well, he can't hope his legs are under him. He's got to find that out because if he goes out there and tries to use them, and then big shot there. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down, and not the way he wanted it to go. No, he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old timers would say, take a walk around the block. Stand up, stand up! Two, three, four! Get up, five. get up, get up! He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Well, Teddy, you can see quite clearly that that cut is becoming a major problem for him. What does he have to do strategically here to deal with it? Well, there's three lines of defense, Joe, whether you're cut or you're not cut. One is... And the ref says the Kid Dynamite's going to have a point deduction here. The repeated low blows finally caught up with him. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. Again to the melon. Headshot lands, was a hook. See him with the left of the head there? How about that? One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. All landing. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just the sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches in. This is the kind of fight I like as we start round number eight and we look at your scorecard, Teddy. A very close fight. You have him up just a little bit, but that's because of the knockdowns. Each guy has done something here that's impressed us. Yeah, what I like about the other guy, he doesn't have the neon, you know, the light-up talent, you know, with the power, you know, with the scintillating speed. He doesn't have that put. What about the talent of being dependable? Isn't that a talent? We forget about that sometimes. And he is showing and displaying that. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Uppercut! You know, he did a very nice job of finishing up that. He put the third punch in there and landed the combination. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Hooks to the head. Blocks the headshot. Kid Dynamite's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. The jab has been able to carry the night for him so far. Why so, Teddy? Well, first of all, he's been able to get it off at the right time. His opponent, that sweet spot, you know, you hear about that in, in baseball. You want to just hit that ball in the sweet spot. Well, the jab, he's catching his opponent just as he's starting to get into his range before he can get off. Round eight comes to an end. Well, we've seen this before. A fighter with a bad cut, and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, if he was gambling, if he was in a casino, he's rolling the dice. He's hoping to come up with seven. What are you waiting? You want 
this fight, then let's get moving out there. This guy's gonna win this fight. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very... And the ref's gonna warn him. He's gotta get him up. Now committing to that jab, straight hand, and it works out. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Kid Dynamite. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Do that again. Good step back counter punch there. Able to dismiss it. Keep working the jam. Jump on. Flush right hand to the head. More power punches from him. A great display of offensive assault. He thinks he can end this fight, but oh, does he have to be careful? Oh, and there you go. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Close the gap. Scores up top with a left. Now, the final round. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Well, I think a lot of people probably didn't expect this out of him, but I like the way he looks on the outside. He's an inside man, but guess what? He's got an outside touch. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck and mow. What a big shot. How is this going to go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. 